and in this video I'm hopefully going to show you why I think van lifers and car campers should all have a porta potty. Two weeks ago I got this and then yesterday I finally saw this. And it's safe to say, as I'm still feeling completely wiped out, that pretty much means that car camping is off the table. But this does enable me to make a tutorial I've been wanting to make for a long time, and that is for my Porter Potty 335. So with that in mind, let's go. And where I'm taking you today is back down to my favourite little country park. So the thing with the porta potty is that it's very portable. It's so portable you can use it here and here and you could even use it here too. And yes, I did feel very strange walking around a country park holding a porta potty. So an important thing to show you is how you empty the porta potty. Now you're gonna have to forgive the dirt on the porta potty. This is because of the fact I've just been lugging it around a country park. But to open a porta potty is easy. You simply pull that catch there. And once you've done that, the porta potty opens like this. Now once the porta potty is like this. This is how you then empty it. So you take the bottom part, you pull this out like this. Now I'd say what's important is when you're emptying it, if you hold it at that kind of angle, the reason being is when you pour it out, you want to pour it out slowly. And by doing it at this angle, it comes out a bit slower. Otherwise it's going to spray absolutely everywhere and it's quite gross. And all you then do is this. You literally just take that off and there you go. What's interesting as well, the same way you empty it is how you fill it up. At least in the instructions, they tell you to fill up the bottom half through the nozzle where you empty it. But something I learned on Will's whereabouts is you can actually fill it another way. And the other way is actually a little bit easier. So you fill it via that hole. So you literally just push that down, pull that out, and then you can put your fluid and your water in that hole there. And it's a lot easier than trying to balance it with that holding upright. It's essential to remember that when you use the porta potty, you need to pull that handle out. Otherwise, everything you do will just sit in the pan. So that's your fluid in the bottom half. Now I'll show you how to fill up the top half. You literally just undo this cap and then pour your liquid and your pink fluid in there. And one of the best things about a porta potty, of course, it makes a blinding table. Now, for me, one of the biggest reasons of wanting a porta potty is that when I go solo car camping, it means I don't have to be worried about public toilets. And also it's super important because it means if I wake up say at two o'clock in the morning and it's absolutely chucking it down outside, I don't have to go outside into that to use the toilet if I'm desperate. I can do everything within the car. And to be honest, that makes it super stealthy. Now, the reason why I chose the Porta Potty 335 for car camping was of the simple fact that it has the least height of all the porta potties that I could see. And in terms of when you're car camping, headspace is super important. So with the 335, I can happily sit on that in this car and there's more than enough room. Now with the porta potty, there's two types of fluid that you will need. You will need the chemicals that go in the bottom part and you'll need the chemicals that go 
in the top part. Now, one of the biggest tips that I can give you in terms of these chemicals is that you use the genuine Thetford products. The reason being, quite simply, I found that using the not genuine products like this one, for example, the smell is worse when you don't use genuine stuff. The genuine stuff is much more concentrated, much more pungent, and actually leaves you with a nice smell inside the car. And on a very similar note, it is the same, I must say, for the toilet paper. Now, when I bought the porta potty, I bought a couple of packs of genuine Thetford toilet paper. And I've been using that, but a few months ago, I decided to use some normal toilet paper because it's so much cheaper. After using it that once, I have never used normal toilet paper again. The problem is normal toilet paper is a lot thicker. Because it's so much thicker, it didn't go down the toilet hole particularly well. And actually, I had to push it down, which was rather gross, as you can well imagine. So, all in all, I highly recommend you buy proper chemical toilet, toilet paper, and don't use regular paper. And what you have on the porta potty is this little gauge on the front that shows you how much capacity is left. In terms of putting the water into the porta potty, I use quite simply one of these, just an empty two litre bottle of water. Makes it easy to pour it in and it makes it easy to judge how much you're actually putting in. And just in case you didn't know, the porta potty has a proper little flush. <coughs> Clearly, there's no water in there, so that's not going to work. Now, as I always say in every car camping video, for me, the porta potty was the most important purchase that I actually made for car camping. And I think it makes, for me, the biggest difference to car camping. And that's why I undoubtedly recommend that if you're a van lifer or a car camper and you haven't got one already, if you've got the room, go out and buy one. Well, I hope you found this video useful and until next time, take care.